Hey guys, how's it going? So today I have another scratch project for you guys. Before I start it and show you guys a little bit what it's about, I just want to uh, say last time in the scratch projects, a lot of people were leaving comments saying how unprofessional the games were and how they didn't really have all the aspects of what people would desire. But the reason why I actually do these scratch projects is because it's a little bit different than the game itself and it allows people to be a little bit more creative when designing it. So I feel like with those aspects of creativity to it, it makes it a little bit more interesting despite the fact that I may not be as professional <clears throat> as the real game. So I just wanted to clear that up because a lot of people, there were, I, I'll say it was like a percentage of 30% 30, 30 of the comments were just saying how I shouldn't do them uh, just because of their their... Uh, ability to not be as good as the game itself but the reason why I do this is just because it's a little bit more creative a little bit more liberating to be able to do these games other than the actual game itself so let's get into the game now this is just titled Club Penguin but I have to say it's a little bit of a sketchier version of Club Penguin you guys will see why so they actually titled it uh, the title of the game on scratch is Club Penguin but it's called Penguin Chat on this screen here and uh, when we click play we get to choose our color and I'm gonna go with red here. I'll just name myself CP. There we go. Click check. And then you can walk around here and it says our location is at the iceberg. Uh, over here to your right, or in the top right corner are the emotes or the emojis, whatever you wanna call them. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, one thing that I noticed was that, excuse me, in this bottom right hand corner, they have, <clears throat> these I guess these three items you can buy and you can go to your inventory so uh, it says are you sure you want to buy the settlement and I think you have to click the check button there uh, and then when you click on yourself whoops let's see let me move around again uh, where should I click this maybe I'll do free money first so I'll click this and that's the free money sign the more you click it that's how much money you get so for example if, if I click it 50 times I'll get 50 more uh, coins and then I'll click exit out okay so 548 it's a little bit off but again I kind of like the creative aspect and now for some reason I can't click on the catalog that's weird but let's go ahead let me refresh this page and see if I can uh, go back into the the clothing catalog put that there let's see world there we go okay I don't know why it zooms us off into that corner every time okay so we have there's the uh, fancy top hat, so let's click. I think we just have to type in yes. Maybe that's what we need to do. There we go. So we can put on the top hat, that's cool. And uh, if we, I think there's some sort of bug with this where you can only click it once. So that's unfortunate. But if you guys take a look, it's similar. Okay, it's a much uh, less professional version of the game itself, but I really do like it for the reason that you can go into your inventory, you can go uh, search the catalog and this game was only designed around two months ago, give or take a few days. Um, and what that allows, uh, I guess, the creator to do, it doesn't mean that this game is in its final uh, stages already. Whoop, there's a little bit of a bug there. Uh, he could be updating it for all we know, and I find that sort of interesting because a lot of the games that we played have been closer to three or four years old. So we obviously know that those are the final versions of the game. But with this one, we don't really get the um, we don't get the idea that he's done creating for it. So I think that's a very interesting uh, part to this. So this is the entire game. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the well. There's total views are just 26, so there's not too much to it. But if we view the remix tree, you guys will notice. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, click that. Yeah. Um. Why didn't it take us to the tree that I was looking for? Let's. Hmm. Oh, we have to click C inside. Gotcha. That's what we need to do. So you can see these are all every single parts of uh, the game in itself. So if you were to ever miss something, for example, if you were ever to miss a certain button and there were certain items you could collect there, you'd see the items there and you'd know that you would miss something. So I find that to be kind of interesting. Um, and again, here, if you go here, there's costumes, you can kind of redesign it, uh, which is, or you're, you're able to, I believe, like if I wanted to click this, uh, or click this and then click the paint button, uh, let's see, or if I wanted to click the, yeah, there we go, and I wanted to draw a little bit, I could do that. So feel free to sort of, this is what I like about it, how it allows you to be creative. So feel free to go ahead and do that. If we go to sounds, I don't know if there was any sounds, I didn't have my sound on. Um, 
but and it gives you uh, every single thing here so looks sound pen data events control sensing operators uh, and then more blocks so definitely feel free to go ahead and uh, try this out I definitely think you guys I'll leave the link in the description definitely think you guys uh, will like it it's something that you could do spend five minutes on and it's just really cool so let me know what you guys think let me know if you're designing your own projects and guys with that said I'll see you all tomorrow have an awesome day take care